Yeah, I I I, I lean conservative on certain things, but uh, more liberal. Yeah, other I'm shit. just right wing in general. Are you really? Yeah, yeah. Like in the truest sense of right wing, like more libertarian. Mm. Definitely, without a doubt. Yeah. Look, all I ask is that you leave me and my guns alone. You know. Yeah, that's a that's a good way. Yeah, look, I, yeah. I, I'm the type I bury me with my pistols. I know they cost money. I don't care. <laughs> bury me with those joints. Yeah, man. Facts, man. Um, let me go over to Twitter now, man. Um, it, it's a it's a lot going on, man. Um, Is it Rumble it, time or? Nah, not yet. Yeah. I'm gonna go there. Two o'clock. Yeah, two o'clock. I'm probably gonna be. Yeah, man. Facts. Um, let's see what these um. I got transferred to an area, Barnesville, Georgia, that was like being thrown back into the 50s of people yelling the N-word at us to get off their lawn, telling us they're going to get their gun. They still, on Wednesdays, everything was closed until 2 p.m. in honor of the slave trade. During that time, everything would be closed so that people could go to the auction blocks. What? (gasps) Yeah. And so they still honored that all the way in 2013 and that was because that town was a slave town where they would do like the railroad came through it and that's until 2 p.m there would be auctions i was just full-on scared for my life you know and i so this is you lived there and and she won't even name the town like we don't even know what the fuck town she's talking about right but she let's just we know she's lying but Let's just say she's telling the truth. She didn't flee. She didn't go live in a box in Atlanta or live in a box in some black of a black city. She left at this place and didn't leave. She's she's not talking about I left. Yeah. Yeah, but this is all around like this is this is just crazy all around because all that stuff about people yelling the N-word and stuff, like you can't really verify any of that shit. But, like, that whole thing about the town closing, like, that's a hard fact. And that's why they won't name what the fuck. Because you could be like, nah, that, that ain't fucking true. She didn't have any inclination to go live around blacks. She, she was safer in this town than she was around blacks. I got transferred to an area, Barnesville, Georgia. She said the town. Barnesville, like Georgia. She did say the Barnesville. Town. Okay. Barnesville, Georgia. <laughs> Barnesville, Georgia. It sounds kind of racist, right? Barnesville. Mmm. Okay, we'll see, man. Let me let me let me let her let, let me let her go off, man. I got transferred to an area, Barnesville, Georgia, that was like being thrown back into the fifties of people yelling the N word at us to get off their lawn, telling us they're gonna get their gun. They still on Wednesdays, everything was closed until 2 p.m. in honor of the slave trade. During that time, everything would be closed so that people could go to the auction blocks. What? <gasps> yeah. And so they still honored that all the way in 2013. And that was because that town was a slave town where they would do, like, the railroad came through it. And that's until 2 p.m. there would be auctions. I was just full-on scared for my life, you know. And I learned very quickly, like, to not go to the houses that had any Confederate flag hanging. It was scary. And it was a lot, like, emotionally to deal with. Oh, yeah. Okay. So sister says Bondsville, Georgia, man. That was um, you know, let's let's go, let's let's verify that, man. Let's check the car facts, man. Or the Yo, sun I, facts. <laughs> I when she said that they're yelling somewhere at you and pulling guns, I thought she was talking about the 79th in Chicago. Exactly. Let's see, <laughs> let's see what the let's see what the um what what this town is like, man. New at six tonight, a Georgia city quietly decided this week to remove what historians describe as one of the most historic monuments in the state. The city is Louisville, located outside of Augusta. And it is home. Okay, so that's Louisville. 
She's a barn bill. Barnesville, Georgia was founded in 1826 and named for Gideon Barnes, the proprietor of a local tavern. The town quickly grew into a thriving community, and by the mid-19th century, it was a major center for agriculture and commerce. Barnesville was also a major stop on the Macon and Western Railroad, which connected the town to other major cities in Georgia and Alabama. This helped to make Barnesville a regional center for trade and transportation. During the Civil War, Barnesville served as a major hospital site for wounded Confederate troops. The town was also a target of Union raids, and it was partially burned by Union troops in 1864. After the war, Barnesville rebuilt and continued to grow. By the late 19th century, the town was home to a number of successful businesses, including cotton gins, sawmills, and buggy factories. Barnesville was also known as the buggy capital of the South. In 1920, Barnesville was designated the seat of the newly formed Lamar County. This helped to further boost the town's economy and importance. In the early 20th century, Barnesville experienced a period of rapid growth. The town's population increased significantly and new businesses and industries were established. Barnesville also became a popular destination for tourists. The Great Depression had a negative impact on Barnesville's economy, but the town began to recover in the post-war years. In the 1950s and 1960s, Barnesville experienced another period of rapid growth. New businesses and industries were established, and the town's population increased again. Today, Barnesville is a thriving community with a diversified economy. The town is home to a number of manufacturing and service businesses, as well as a growing number of small businesses. Barnesville is also a popular destination for retirees and families. The town has a highly rated school system and offers a variety of recreational and cultural amenities. Well, they kind of glossed over the slavery part. So maybe, you know, maybe she's right, man. Um, the racism. Let's see. No, I'm, I'm reading up on that. and it, it, it sounds just like something that was, that was done on Wednesdays in a lot of small towns. They called it like a banker holiday people in the market would meet for so that there's, there's nothing I can find on slavery. She's just making that shit up. Let's see. Some guy claps right here and I was like, oh my God, no. He said, I've been shot, I've been shot, I've been shot. Stunned neighbors described the deadly violence that erupted in their quiet town. A woman was murdered and two others wounded after running out of gas yesterday in Barnesville. Good evening and thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Russ Benson. I'm Courtney Bryant. Is that a black officer? Is that a black police officer? Hold on. Good evening and thank you for joining. Yeah, it was. <laughs> Wait, so is Barnesville sunny? Is it? Hold on, man. What's the demographics of Barnesville? If, if a sister's mouths, mouth, lips are moving about white people, she's lying. Courtney Bryant, police now say the suspected gunman fled the scene and later committed suicide. Fox Lives Deidre Dukes has the latest on the bizarre case. The shooting happened the in hot daylight. Police say they have identified... The, 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 the news person is black, too. ...and yeah. located the gunman. Now they're trying to figure out why he opened fire. Investigators returned to the scene of the deadly shooting Wednesday after GBI officials announced the search for the gunman ended in Atlanta. Justin Banks was working at his barber shop Tuesday afternoon when shots rang out. So this guy owns a barber shop in Barnesville. Yo, mm. it sounds kind of mm. in there. <laughs> Hmm. Maybe that's who's in the song where that people like. Yeah, but, but yeah, or well, somebody, somebody who frequents his barbershop because I'm sure he doesn't cut. I'm sure he doesn't cut white people here. Um, Afternoon, when shots rang out, and I looked over there across the street, and I seen that's a son, man. <laughs> that's Craig Mack, man. Craig Mack, daddy, man. That's God, Craig man. Mack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dog. Whew. 
house and I looked over there across the street and I seen this guy run down there by the police station and he collapsed. I just seen some guy collapse right here and I was like, oh my God, no. He said, I've been shot, I've been shot, I've been shot. Barnesville resident Virginia Bannister discovered the wounded man just steps from her front door. And I walked back here and they had all this blocked off and that's when they said somebody was laying in there dead. Barnesville police responded to reports that three people had been shot here on Curry J. Buckner Street. Just so this... So, so this had to have been a glider shooting two black, three black yeah. people, right? Barnesville, Barnesville is a majority black town. <laughs> yeah, forty-seven percent black and forty-two percent white. I was gonna say you don't want to know just, how many some people are there. So this For woman someone, is just someone. like a complete retard. Well, well, hold on. I wouldn't call her a retard. I, I think that she knows one thing. Black people don't research anything. So the black people she was talking to, she had, I mean, she had 100% faith that they would not look up any of this up. She didn't know Old Ock Nation, though. Old Ock Nation, man. We, we going to look that up, man. She also knows that that's the <laughs> narrative they desperately need to be true. Exactly. For exactly. them to complete, for them to uh, continue uh, living their life like how they want to live it, which is Victims. being a victim. Yeah, and explaining why they ain't got shit. So yeah, that's true. That's that's just, that's that's very true, man. Um. So yeah, she's whoever she was talking to. It was like basically like giving them gold, handing them you know a, a briefcase full of money. Dog. And that's when they said somebody was laying in there dead. Barnesville police responded to reports that three people had been shot here on Curry J. Buckner Street just before six Tuesday night. According to the GBI, 33-year-old Eric Spradley shot the victims from a car and fled the scene. The Barnesville man was later found dead in Atlanta. It's believed he died of a self-inflicted... Yeah, he glad He killed himself. <laughs> but what were the victims? Were the victims black? You know, it's racist town, man. Probably not. Shot wound. 33-year-old Yasmin Wright died at the sea. Yasmin Wright? Yasmin Wright? Sounds like yes. a sister. Yes, right. sister. We don't know, man. Is this an older story or a newer one, do you know? This is a few years ago, man. I mean, a few months ago. Yasmin Wright. Oh, wow. Wow. The sister, man. Yeah, man. They got racism is alive in Barnesville, man. Alive in Rome. Yeah, man. He killed the sister. Uh, um, let's let's see. Let's see. He might be um, a son, man. Let's, let's be fair. He might be. Can't go wrong with a son, man, right? Yeah, he might be a son, man. But I'm saying she said it was a racist town, so I'm just assuming that oh, anybody yeah, yeah. firing a gun in public would be black. Yeah. You, you know what? I it's not. I mean, it would be white. I imagine like the way she painted the town. It's not what I imagined. It really. Yeah, knows. this is the gun memorial. Man. Wow! Look at that guy from the Civil War. That's what the, the last glider that what? was killed there. <laughs> 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 the union got his ass. That looked like yeah. fucking uh, <laughs> Rockefeller, <laughs> dog. What the fuck? What in the fuck? God, man, that, that picture looked old as shit. Who killed that motherfucker? I, what happened to that guy? Yeah. I don't know, man. Well, Musk got man. his ass. The uh, cannon? He got hit by a cannon? Deputy Marshal. Hey, no, this was um 1908. This is after the Civil War. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> they got a gun memorial from 1908. <laughs> God damn. That's got to be the oldest one we've seen. <laughs> so, this is the sister, though. This is the sister that got killed. Um, oh, Yasmin Wright. Yikes. She got killed. Um, let's see. Who who killed her, though, man? Um, what was his name? Um, Eric Spradley. Sunman. Sun man? I'm no, that sounds like a gliding. Yeah, that do sound like a gliding Bradley? name. Eric Spradley. Yeah, that's, that's a gliding word. That sister said, that sister, um, no way this sister would lie about the type of violence in this town. So we got to see, find out who this glider that killed. Get to the bottom of this. Yeah, man. Um, 
I'm yeah, I don't have no I picture know. on him. Ain't no picture on him, though. Um, can't find anything on him. Eric Spradley. Eric Spradley, man. But I, I, that sister don't look like a swirler, man. That sister don't look like a swirler. She looked like a um she looked like she um you know she down with the brown man. Yeah, she looked like she loved her soul pool. Her kings. <laughs> Yo, uh, it's not that many people on this on this gun memorial though. It's kind of surprising, isn't it? Right, I mean, man. It's like six thousand people, it says population, but it's still pretty low. Oh yeah, very low, man. Um I guess the white the races are keeping them in check, man. The Klansmen, the neighborhood yeah, the, whites. It's a sundown town, man. They can't the, the black the mm. white people tell the black people they they can't do something, and the black people oblige. You know, just like everywhere else. No, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> ain't, that, ain't that how it goes in your town? I mean, come on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, man. Um, uh, I don't know, man. We'll, we'll, I. I'm gonna go with the sisters lying, for you know. But you know, that's just me, man. You know, I'm biased, man. Um, you know, and I learned very quickly, like to not go to the houses that had any Confederate flag hanging. It was scary, and it was a lot, like emotionally, to deal with. Not the tissue. Okay. Yeah, tissue. I need to see these niggas crying about the neighborhood terrorists and their communities before I start caring about this shit. Right, about them kings. Yeah, man. She, um, so, sorry that happened to her, you sister, man, that you was, um, you know, you had to go through that, man. Uh, man, no, fuck that. I don't care about a fucking Confederate flag and honoring slave auctions, nigga. I don't give a fuck. Right. What's going on in your community, sister? Yeah, exactly. Well, always remember, guys, these are the least.